Hello again, my name's Elizabeth and I like to sew smart. And we're sewing smart today by taking two previous projects we've done, which is doily work and Christmas stockings and putting them together. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a really nice keepsake stocking for a Christmas gift. So to begin with, you will need the homespun, which is the background fabric that you're going to put your doilies on and either lightweight wadding or this time I've used um, fusible pellon because I found that's quite thick enough and I have plenty of that. Use as I said the object of sewing this smartly is to use what you already have. I took the pattern, now remember you're going to need one pattern boot going one way with the toe that side and the other pattern piece will go the other side because they will come right sides together. All I've done is on my homespun, I've taken the pattern and roughly drawn around with a, fuse, uh, a friction pen that will iron off just the shape of the boot. So the toe is just there. So I need to cover all those lines, all of the, the boot. Now this is actually the back piece of the boot. Now use everything you've got. It doesn't matter what you've got, whether it's antique or whether it's something that you've just picked up in a shop somewhere yourself you can make it look antique so I've laid them on as best I can I've got a bit of a stain on this top one so I've pushed that over I couldn't get it out and this will roughly be my stocking size I've laid them on what I will do is I'll pop a little bit of either 505 or pin these down like we did for the runners and the cushions and this is just a flower off a modern piece to cover that little gap there. I've used all manner of doilies that I've got left. This piece of um, embroidery work here that's in here. Use anything you've got or just use it as background it all comes out. This is a matching doily to that one so instead of having that you could have had another one of those in the corner. You can use everything you've got. Don't throw anything away. I even keep the small pieces in case I need at any time just to pop a piece in down the side to fill a gap, anything. So my next job as I said is I'm going to just attach these with pins or with um, 505 spray. I use 505 spray because it isn't tacky but you can lift it up and reposition and put it down again and it doesn't stick on your, your sewing machine needle. So put them all in place. Don't cut the boot out yet. Just put these all in place and stick them down or pin them down and then you will start sewing them on. You could, if you haven't got the crocheted kind or you haven't got anything that you really like, you could use the embroidered little doilies that you might have that somebody's given to you. You can even find them often in the dollar shops or the um, op shops. You could do that for a change. But I have done the opposite side. I just showed you the, the one I was working on. I've already done this one apart from stitching this little piece down here. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like, I've used um, the main piece at the top because these stockings are not going to have a cuff so this will be the front cuff look on the stocking. I've sewn them down I have actually um, stippled to take up any slack on the fabric in any places that I've seen and I have cut out the stocking I'm going to put a, a proper stitch line and overlock that down there before I join it to the other one. Remember one will go this way and one will go that way and you're going to have a lining made of anything that you've got of homespun. I've pinned several pieces on this one that they're, they're just pinned on now because I'm stippling these pieces sort of like background pieces the embroidered pieces I don't want to catch the lace in so just pull this up when you're stippling just secure it with a pin in and then you can stipple right out to the edges. You can see that's where that piece goes, but it will be covered by that. Pin all these back and just small stipples all the way round. I carried on, even though this is two pieces, carried on straight through there and did this piece at the top as well. 
so just pin the pieces back so that you don't catch them in. I did stitch the doily, this, this very fine one down, after I took the pins out. I have run a stitch line around here, but that leaves these little tiny lacy edges. So all I do with that is I just hand stitch that, just catching the loops in and stitch them down all the way around. That just gives your um, doily and your whole stocking just that little bit extra. So make sure, see they're now nice and firmly, they're right down, they won't come adrift. So I've stitched down all my lacy pieces so that there's nothing, nothing will come adrift now. I have left the little flowers because I think they look really pretty and I didn't want to fasten them down. They are secure in the doily itself. So this is the back of the, the, the stocking and this is the front and they will go together like so. But to line it we have to do a little something else so I'll show you that next. I've cut two pieces for the lining from some homespun, some cream homespun and I will have to have the boot with the toes facing both the same way to um, put the lining in. I'll just move one of those pieces that will go on the back. Now this is the top. Now the lining has to go the same way as the boot. So I lay it on with the right side up. Just pin that together. I will sew that when, when it comes to, I will sew it with a generous quarter inch seam along the top. And that's in there. And as you'll see, this will become one complete piece. I haven't got an awful lot of room on this table here, but you'll see that's where the join is and that will go on the inside. So that will become the lining of the boot on the inside here. So that will be stitched onto the top, but we're not going to stitch that together. We're just going to sew it on the top repeat it for the back and I'll have two pieces then like this then we're going to put them together and put the loop for hanging in. To make the loop we have a piece six and a half by three inches and all I do with that is fold both sides in and press, fold it again and give it a nice press and I'm just going to stitch one eighth of an inch down one side, one eighth of an inch down the other leaving the ends raw and that's all you have to do to make a loop. So there's my loop, folded it in half. Now it's going to have to hang like so but because this is going to be, this is the inside and this is the out, I'm going to have to sew this in like this so that it catches in the front and the back of the stocking. So you can see I've got right sides together on my doily side, right sides together, well, right sides together, boot shapes together on the lining. I'm now going to pin, take that in a bit, pin along here, catching this in, and I'm going to pin and stitch all the way around my stocking, all the way around, but when I come right the way around to here, I'm going to leave a, about a five or six inch gap in the lining at the back to turn the stocking inside out. I've stitched it all the way around and just turned it inside out. I left my gap on the back of the leg here to, which will be closed up. So you can see how the tag comes out on the right side because you kept it on, on the top side of this when you did it. So all that remains to be done now is I will stitch this up and then push the lining right into the boot, right to the bottom, into the toe, and then I'll come back and show you it finished. So we're all finished now. I've pushed the lining into the stocking, pushed out the seams all the way around. The tag is nicely on, stitched around the top. Looks very nice. You can turn it in, see nice lining. I think that's a really nice heirloom gift for a new grandchild or for 
somebody who appreciates this kind of work and it's just all ready now to hang up. Our stocking is all finished. It looks very, very nice. You could easily give it, as I said, for a christening gift, or you could give it to a relative or a friend who's in perhaps a care home who comes from a bygone area, era where they use this kind of thing. That's very acceptable. And I hope that they will appreciate it, and I hope you have appreciated the making of this video too. If you have enjoyed it, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and the pattern for this and all my other patterns are in the Etsy shop, so please go along and have a look and I'll join you next time for another project.